Kyle Dadian. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Correct me with pronunciation below, man. But he says, finally, someone is saying this. Don't understand people who want you to post five pics of artwork before the song is released. <laughs> It's actually common, but I wanted to add context to this. I talked about in the video that, especially when you're early on, nobody's checking for all this stuff that you do pre-release. They really aren't. So get to it. Release the song and then do things after you release the song. So every ounce of attention that you do create, whether it's a new post or a, a new ad and all or whatever it is, it goes back to your funnel, which eventually goes to your song. Like it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to get somebody's attention. I'm I spending a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars on an Instagram ad, teasing this song that nobody knows about, and the song's not even out. And then when the song finally comes out, I have to hope that I get their attention again, which means I'm probably gonna have to pay for it. All right, go ahead and have it there and available. So when you have people's attention, you can squeeze every little bit of it out there. Uh, there is, and maximize it. That's it. All right, so. Those people who say, do this amount of posts before, and they're not they're not considering your audience, right? Your level of fan base. If you don't have a fan base to actually organically post and 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 um and create any type of suspense, it's, it's not gonna do too much for you. A lot of these people are just giving you something to do, right? And making you feel like you did something. So they maybe, you know, get paid <laughs> for giving you those answers. So I, I would actually avoid a lot of that advice. Um, who says you have to do X, Y, and Z before you post without consideration.